In this video, we're going to write a Python program to determine if a string is a palindrome or not. So given a string s, return true if s is a palindrome and false otherwise. So first of all, what exactly is a palindrome? It's very easy. So if you have a string like the word race car and you reverse the word race car, this word is the same as the original, which is a palindrome. Now, if you look at hello and you reverse it, the reverse version is not the same as the original. So hello is not a palindrome. There are two different solutions to this problem. So let's take a look at the first one. We have a function is palindrome. It takes in a string s, then it reverses the string s. So this is the syntax for reversing a string. And once you have the reverse string, you compare it to the original string. So this line will return true if both are the same and false if one of them is not the same as the other one. And you can use this to test out your code. This will return true and this one will return false. Now let's take a look at the second solution. So using this as an example, we have race car. We put the indexes onto this word. And then the next step is to determine something called a line. And you'll see what it does in a second. So the line is equal to the number of letters. So there are seven letters in total. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then we floor divide by two. Okay, so what is floor divide? Well, 7 divided by 2 gives you 3.5, and 3.5 rounded down gives you 3. So that's basically what floor divide is. The length is 3. So we're going to put the line onto the first three letters. Now we're really close to finishing. The last step is to put the two arrows, one at the beginning and one at the end. And then we compare the letters. So R and R are the same. Okay, that's good. The next one, A and A. Yep, they're the same. How about C? Yes, they're the same. So once this arrow is at the end of this line, you know that this string is a palindrome. Now let's take a look at another example, A, B, C, A. Again, we have the indexes. The line is four because there are four letters. Then we floor divide by two, we get two. So the line goes for two letters. We put the two arrows at the beginning and the end. A is the same as A. How about this? B is not the same as C. So this is a sign that tells us that this is not a palindrome. All right, let's take a look at the Python code. We determine what is the last index. So basically the index of the last character, and that's length of s minus one. Then we determine the line. So the line is length of s, floor divided by two. Then we're going to put the first arrow onto the line and we loop through the line. And then this will be the second arrow at the end of the string. Is the letter at the arrow the same as the letter at the second arrow at the end of the string? And if they're not the same, then we return false, right? Because it's not a palindrome. And then we keep looping through until we reach the end of the line. And once we reach the end of the line, then we know that the string is a palindrome. So we return true. So that's basically it for today. In the next video, we'll take a look at how to determine if two strings are anagrams and it's quite similar to a palindrome. If you guys have any questions, let me know down in the comments below and also don't forget to like and subscribe.